first, let's talk about how drivers are getting money back uh, when it comes to the EV. So if you're uh, an EV driver, you probably got some money back. If you didn't, um, I don't know what's going on, but uh, you should be um, because yeah. there was some EV shaving going on and uh, it was not good because you were not getting the full extra dollar incentive that you were supposed to, which we figured out on our test last time because we had an electric uh a Tesla owner who is uh, there as well as, you know, your ice pow powered vehicles and all that. And uh, yeah, it was continuously like 80 cents difference. I think one time it hit the dollar difference. Every other time it was, you know, 80 cents for the most part. And then there were a couple, it was like 54. Um, so it was never exactly $1. So yeah, looks like they went through and fixed it and got some people out, huh? Yeah, I mean, last week, uh, my phone went off the hook because I have, you know, as I told you, I have my rideshareguy.com email hooked up to myself. You know, it was like one after the other. And then people started sending me screenshots. I have like tons of it. And then um, the highest one so far I've seen is $1,868.16. I have a lot more of them, fours, fives, sixes, eight hundreds, whatever. Um, so Chris actually was in Chicago and he did a test with a EV driver as well as um, three ICE vehicles. And we put it out eight months ago. In fact, I went back, Chris, and watched the show, that segment, one more time. Mm -hmm. And sure enough now, Uber comes last week, starts paying everybody off. This includes all the Hertz rental people, by the way. It, it, just any EV, doesn't matter, own it or rent it. You got some cash and the reason they said it's from 2022 and 2023 is because we kind of busted their chops last i don't know may i think somewhere in that range eight months ago and obviously it took them this long to figure out um the reason is 2022 this all started with upfront fares and upfront fares started rolling out around the country somewhere around august of last year i got it in october but long story short I'm so glad we can do this. And that's why, by the way, so so let's do a little list, Chris. You know, last May, we got uh, gig workers, all kinds, delivery as well, hundreds of millions of dollars because the, the California treasurer did not adjust the mileage, mile, inflation adjustment for mile, miles in Prop 22 in California. Mm -hmm. That's one. Then we got people just a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, the second Uber Pro, um, reward that they shouldn't have gotten but they did and uber was nice to pay on the second time they didn't have to then we had that tip shaving when you were if you're driving a higher platform and you drop down and then your tip was being rolled into uh, the fare so we got that fixed and now we got this fixed that's why we're called show me the money i mean you guys <laughs> tell me money. one other channel that shows you the money like this and then we're constantly working on shit, and we're figuring this out man you know look Fair is fair. Everybody got their cash. So if you do meet me personally one day somewhere, LA not, all of you who got cash owe me a beer. So uh, my beer, uh, my beer stuff is taken care of for life now, Chris. I think it's just, unfortunately, I, know, unfortunately, I don't think, beer. yeah, I don't think uh, interest was paid on that money. It should have been, no. but uh, I don't think it was, but at least they're, they're making right because, you know, Somebody could have gotten a hold of that, and there could have been a much, much worse uh, situation for them. I so. think we're saving him so much money, really. You know, this, this could have been a massive class action, and I'm sure they're not going to. They didn't pay. It took this long because they probably figured out the damage, what it would be if it was a class action. Mm -hmm. uh, probably a lot more. So we're saving. Hey, Uber, we're saving you so much money. I mean, seriously. You know, what I mean, where is our money? You know what I mean, I mean, yeah, hey, Uber. We need finder's fee or something. You know, I'm sure this was a big number, Chris. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was. And uh, there you go, people. Congrats. Don't spend it all at one place. I saw a lot <laughs> yeah, of people on Reddit. You're, saying, you're getting $1,800 back because you were driving EV and that's the money you should have had. Man, you're probably enjoying it. You're probably like, I'm oh, going to oh. take a week or so off or I'm going to take a, a couple days off or whatever it might be or this is going to pay for, you know, whatever it might be. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to put put any words in people's mouths but it's not too shabby there you go there's my first beer coming up boom right there thank <laughs> you sir uh <laughs> i'll hold you to it i don't know your name of course see this is the problem when i meet people now they come at me they go hey serge i'm going like uh yeah what's up <laughs> i know it's yep. from youtube right 
but I don't know these people's names, right? I know, I mean, YouTube name is different than their actual name. So, yeah. So if I if, like, I'm only in San Francisco next week, Oakland. So whoever meets me there, you all are buying me beers, okay? And <laughs> you know, or or a bottle of something. And here's more numbers: three thirty-eight to sixty-eight. Congrats. We did another one. All right. Thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right. Drive smart, everyone.